Hey everybody, Adam Tracy again. I wanted to go a little bit off script today. Uh, you hear about it in the news quite often about these leaked photos like celebrity leaks, iPhone hacks, things of that nature. And I've gotten a lot of questions on how do you respond to that? How do you deal with pictures and content that are posted online against your consent? So it's important to start with the analysis, right? You have a copyright image in your personal images, right? Whether it's a picture, video, you name it, right? You don't need to file a copyright to have rights in it. You inherently have what's called a right of publicity. And so any picture that you take for personal use and share personally is yours. You have an inherent ownership right in that. Now, if you put it on social media, you've publicized that and that picture is no longer yours. So if I put a picture on social media, everybody else retweets it on social media, I don't have any right and there's nothing I can do to stop those people. If you keep it on your phone and your phone is hacked into or if you send to somebody, then what you wind up on something like thedirty.com or something like that, then you do have an issue, right? So what do you do, okay? First thing is you can't sue or go after the website that has the content on it at least not initially, right? There is protections against websites that post content that is posted by third parties, right? If the website itself is posting the content, that's a different thing, but in most cases what you see is images, video that gets hacked or gets stolen, then it winds up on a torrent on uh, places like 4chan, Reddit, you name it, right? And the reality is you can't go after that website, at least not immediately. So what's the resolution? The resolution is something called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act or the DMCA. And under the DMCA, you have the obligation as the owner of this copywritten material to send what's called the DMCA takedown notice. Okay, And that has to go to the website that is hosting the infringing content. And that website is legally obligated to respond and take that content down. Now they're not liable again for the content, but they have to adhere to that takedown notice, take the content off, the infringing content as it were, and keep it off. Now what will happen in many cases is, is DMCA's get ignored, and they get ignored quite freely, so it's kind of a toothless sort of thing, but legally speaking you need to start there. So where liability to the actual website you know, can derive from is where they ignore DMCA uh, DMCA takedown notices. So if you have a site that's habitually either reposting the same copyright content or you know consistently ignoring your DMCA takedown notices, you may have a, a right for a copyright infringement case against that website. And so you see a lot of these torrent sites, um, you know, where they post pictures, videos, especially even major motion pictures. This is a big problem. And the problem is these torrent sites are, you know, they're offshore. They're not in the U.S. So it becomes difficult to to compel uh, compliance with DMCA takedown notices because they're in such, you know, strange locales like the Ukraine and places like that. So. Um, a lot of especially major motion picture film uh, studios have resorted to suing IP addresses, right? So in the event that you are not able to uh, compel a site to comply with the DMCA notice, what you can do is oftentimes sue an IP address and then through discovery find out who the owner of the IP address is. And that IP address would of course be the IP address of the individual who posted the infringing content on what the site uh, maybe so it's a little esoteric uh, you know the the I guess the moral story or the the solution here is that you do have rights provided that the content that you're finding online was not meant for public dissemination has not uh, you know been disseminated publicly such as uh, social media prior to it and you know you do have rights so for clarification I'm gonna throw a few of these uh, John Doe IP website complaints that I filed up on my website along with this uh, sample DMCA takedown notice so feel free to check those out if you have problems if you see your content in different places on the web and you want it down definitely use that as a resource or uh, contact me my website Tracy firm T R A C Y F-I-R-M dot com, and uh, until then, we'll, uh, we'll talk later. Take care.